Hey guys, welcome to topic 3 of Lumion. In this topic, we'll be getting into the fourth primary option which is objects. As I would like to inform you that the third primary option which is materials will only be accessible once we import a model into Lumion. So we'll be getting into that in the next chapters. But for now, we'll be working on what objects are. Now, objects are basically different elements that we'll be adding within Lumion itself. So you have humans, trees, furniture, cars, lighting effects, sound, birds, leaves, all of those different things. And you can actually control them by moving them, scaling them and all of that to get the best look for your render. Now let's see how we can actually add these objects. So once you click on the objects tab, you'll notice that you have eight small squares over here, which are your different libraries and one big rectangle over here, which is your imports option. So the minute I click on these different small squares, they are basically libraries for outdoor, indoor, nature, sound, transport and lighting and various different options which we can use to place within our object or within our model. So if I go ahead and select nature, I can enter the library of nature by clicking on select object and I will enter into a library and then we have various different objects here which we can use to create and differently in our models. You can close it from here. I can enter into transport to enter into the transport library. Again, click on select object and you can see we have various different transportation vehicles over here. So every time we select a library, we need to press click on select object to actually enter into the library. Now let's say I select nature and I have this tree. I'll just scroll out a little bit so you can see the entire box. Now this box gives us a denotion of how big the object might be. And to place the object, I need to be on place object, this big arrow over here to actually place the object and I'll give a click so you'll see how it gets placed. This is a left click that I've given to place an object. So the right click is to look around and the left click is to actually place objects. Now if I need to give multiple objects together of the same library, then I will select mass placement. Mass placement basically lets you give multiple objects together by clicking once and creating a line wherever you want and clicking the second time to set it so you can add number of items, randomize the direction of each and every tree, randomize the spacing along the lines, also randomize the offset from the line and you can change the direction altogether as well. You can add multiple trees by clicking on the add button over here and just adding various different kinds of trees. Of course, you can only add from nature itself. You cannot add, you cannot mix vehicles, cars, uh, humans, trees. You cannot do that. You can only have multiple objects of the same library within Lumion. Just keep that in mind. Now I'll press close. Now once we are satisfied with what we have placed in various different ways we can click on the tick sign over here to actually select and be okay fine with it or we can if we're not fine with it we can click on the cross sign here to deselect it all now let's say i've placed this tree over here i would like to move the tree around so i can click on the move option and i can actually move this around as such wherever you need to place it then we have the size object which you can hold it down and you can move your mouse up while holding the left click and move it back down to scale it up as well as down. Then we have the height option which lets us hold the circle again and move it up and move it down. By now you would have noticed that everything we are doing is from the circle. So if you try to click on the tree it's not going to happen itself. You're actually going to have to only click on the circle. You can even rotate it in various different ways by clicking on rotate heading and actually rotating it as such. These four options are used to move, rotate and change the variations of what the object should look like, be moved to, what scale it should have, what height it should have and all of those. 
Now the next three options over here are context menu, edit properties and trash object. We'll get to these in a bit. But the first thing I want to do is I want to place another object. So let's say I place a sports car over here. Now when I'll just go a little bit close to both of this, you can actually see the kind of detail that Lumion has provided for each of its elements, which is really high quality. Now I'll click on edit properties and you see that I have a, a circle again that I can click on and I can now change the color of the car from here. I can switch on or switch off the lights as you can see. I can even click on show driver switch on and switch off. So you can see this little in silhouette of the driver over here. It just switches on and switches off as such. Now once you guys understand how all of this works, you might have noticed that I can only get the circle for the car over here. I am not able to get the circle for the tree. The, the reason being is I am not on the library of the tree. Now the minute I go on the library of the tree, I will be able to edit its properties as well and I will not be able to edit the car's properties anymore. And as you can see, there is a big blue box selection around the tree. This means that the object is indefinitely selected. So if we need to deselect the object, we can hold control and click anywhere outside like this. Or let's say we again select the object and we want to deselect it. So we can click on this deselect all button over here. And all of these different objects can easily be placed and moved around and can be edited as well. I'll just refer through, I'll just go through the rest of the libraries as well. So we have sound, which lets us provide sound in different areas. So you can see the name of the sound is also given to us. Then we have effects, which is more of a motion based object. So you can see it's motion based. It has motion, it has movement, it has animation within it, like the fountain or even like fire. So these this effects as well as sound will be good when we are actually working in walkthroughs. So we'll actually have motion in our objects as well. The next one over here is lighting and special objects, which we'll come to when we actually have to place light cones and light fills and omni lights within buildings. But you can go into it anyway and just have a look at what all it consists of. The next we have is outdoor, as the name suggests, it's going to give us all outdoor materials from balusters to gates to fences to construction equipments, industrial, outdoor furniture, signages, everything which we can use to detail our exterior environment very well. The next we have is people and animals. People and animals, as the name again suggests, we'll have female, male, children, boys, girls, pets. 2D people, silhouettes, animals, and various different humans over here. And various, actually various different living elements over here, if I put it in a better way. Then we have indoor, which lets us get into indoor furniture. So you have fans, you have packages, you have small items like computers, laptops, small lights, plumbing seating for indoors you see the various different libraries that it consists of utilities tables and various different elements which we can use to easily detail our interior environment very well now as you must have noticed all of these things come under this little arrow over here which is called place mode so this entire menu comes under this option which is place mode I can easily shift to move mode to change this menu. Now the menu is almost the same except the way that you will do the selections kind of changes. As you can see now we have four circles which are on even though we are not on any library. Over here the word filter comes into picture. So let's say I want to delete everything except for the car and the tree. That means I want to delete everything only from the effects. So I will filter out the transport. So you can see the, now the car loses its circle and I can filter out the nature that too loses its circle and I can easily make a box in move mode as such. Remember this box can only be made in move mode and both of them will be selected. Now I can click on the trash object and easily click on any one of them to delete them all. 
Now I will unfilter the car as well as the nature so we have the circles back. In this option, in the move mode option, we also have move object, size object, rotate, heading and change height. What is the difference between this and then in place object? Well, let's say I select move object and I click on the car. It gives me detailed movement of the X, Y and Z direction where I would want it to be. Even the size object gives me a definite size of where I can actually scale it to a certain perfect size of my choice. The rotate also lets me rotate it in various different ways apart from just the regular rotate as you can see. And the change height again lets you use X, Y and Z direction to actually change its height. Everything else stays the same including context, edit properties and trash. Now to delete any object whether you are on place mode or whether you are on move mode, I'll go back to place mode for now, you have to select the trash object and then you can easily go back to transport and click on the button and it will get deleted. I'll go back to nature and I'll be able to delete this tree as well. If I want to redo or undo something, I can only click on this undo delete button to bring it back. As you can see, after one undo, it goes away. So there is a very limitation when we are working with undo or redo in Lumion. Thank you guys for watching this topic. I'll see you now in the next chapter where we'll actually get into rendering works. Please practice topic one, topic two, topic three so you're strong enough to get into the next topic. I'll see you guys there. Take care.